da da ba da 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 Buffalo Soldier. I hope the spirit of the buffalo is with us on this trip. <laughs> We're gonna be uh, hiking through the Lamar Valley over four days, spending uh, three nights there. Bigger mileage days on the first and last day, but uh, in between, not too bad. But uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. There's been some apparent bear activity there, so that's gonna be sweet. And yeah, we're gonna smell really nice after this. We still have to hitchhike from Pelican Valley where we're dropping off the car all the way up to the uh, Soda Butte Trail, which is like, I don't know, it's, it's a little ways away. So we gotta get hitching. Hitch! <laughs> I'm sorry, you one of the geysers. <laughs> Tarmagen. Or a tarmigan. It's a view over the Lamar River, which we're going to be camping by tonight. We're being held up on the trail by this handsome devil. <laughs> Stop and enjoy me. giving you a panning view of looking at camp. We have the tent right there. And over this way, we have the early morning view of the Lamar River. Very beautiful. Swooping all the way around. You can see that's our bear hang area right there. And then I got a bunch of the food and stuff, quilts heading out to dry. And then right back here is where the trail is. So we'll be getting back on that today. It's 
spread out the wood on my back. Am I supposed to see like how I have it broken down? No, 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 no. Um, I think we should talk about the miles yesterday. <laughs> it was like over 12 miles yesterday, and that was pretty ambitious for us, but uh, we did it. Um, definitely really hard. Uh, you know, we got to the trailhead yesterday, probably around like 1.30 or 2. Really cool Polish people drove us up, so thank you guys very much. But uh, we ended up rolling into camp probably right before 8, so we had to kind of set up quick. We were pretty dehydrated, hadn't really ate a lot the whole day, and just we're kind of feeling like doo-doo <laughs> when we got here. Um, yeah, how you feeling about it? It was a lot of miles. You did, Shay did amazing. Um, <laughs> uh, he had so much weight in his pack, and fortunately it wasn't like a lot of steep miles. There were a lot of flat miles, um, but the sun kicked my ass. Uh, it was very hot yesterday, and so extremely just, you, you know, you couldn't drink enough water. Um, and I was like a dead carcass when we got into <laughs> camp. Like, I, could, I couldn't function. I had an emotional breakdown. Um, I was just, like, beside myself, just so tired. And um, the silver lining was... I would say the hitchhiking just it was my first time hitchhiking and it was such an incredible experience like the people who drove us here literally the nicest people cool as hell cool as hell <laughs> yeah it, it, that was incredible yep. so. so hard day yesterday we got an easier day today i think only five and a half miles so we'll ski daddle on out of here in a bit and yeah get back to it day number two <laughs> Heading off to 3F2, which is Lemon City, about 5.6 miles away from here, roughly. Big, open, beautiful meadow, and this is where camp spot 3L9 is. Well, if this is something Bob Ross painted, he wouldn't have just given his dragonfly buddy one friend. He gave him a whole little town of friends. Cool looking dragonfly. And got a bear track. I believe it is anyway. Big boy. Beautiful view looking down the Lamar River. Made it to our campsite at 3F2. It's kind of a view looking out. And right now, we are in the food prep area. Evidently, shaving your legs You're can. Not me, you? <laughs> yeah. Babe! <laughs> So that's Adrian shaving her legs. Huh? Oh yeah. Wait, let's... What? Like a cat. <laughs> Alright, while Adrian's cleaning her shirt down there, I just thought I would take a minute 
to talk about today. Um, hiking was a little bit easier than yesterday. Um, we only had about five and a half miles to do, but uh, it's, it's just really, really hot here. You know, this is the first week of September, and it's still, you know, probably in the you know, 80s and 90s each day, and uh, the sun just blares down on you. There's not a whole lot of coverage, so it seems like we're you know, doing a lot to stay hydrated. Um, I definitely noticed that I was a little dehydrated when I got into camp, but uh, chugged a bunch of water right when I got here, and I'm starting to feel better now. But uh, this is the only place that I've ever gone out where I'm literally feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. We haven't seen another person today. Yesterday, basically, after we left the trail, we were on course to not see anyone, but ran into a group of backpackers. But other than that, it, I now know where the term hearing crickets comes from because that's literally all we've heard. So it's incredibly, just a totally different experience. Really beautiful. And I just, yeah, that feeling of remoteness adds a different flavor. Really, really quite amazing. I'm not sure if this will be entertaining enough to do, but uh, I know it's going to be for some special time. Today, view of our tent, and night number two at Lemon City. I believe that's campsite 3L2. In the tent, reading some Ajahn Brahm. Gonna say goodnight for day number two. Morning, it is day three. Um, it's nice out. It's only probably in the 50s. Probably only got down to the 50s last night. Maybe high 40s, but me and Adrian were both kind of sweating in the tent a little bit. Definitely uh, our bags were too hot, but rather be a little too warm, so we think we're a little too cold out here. But uh, looks like we got a decent weather bill for the day. I think it's only going to be 65 degrees, maybe a 10% chance later, or sorry, 10% chance of rain later on in the day, maybe around like 11 or noon, so should be clean hiking today. Uh, we're going to be hiking to Mist Creek, which I believe is 3T3, and that's about seven and a half miles away from here. All right, this is looking at some of the food I brought with me. Keep in mind, we're on the third day, and I've maybe ate a fifth of the food I brought. I have just not had a big appetite, but uh, this is what it's looking like. Um, I had four bags of trail mix. I ate one of them, so three bags trail mix, thing of butter, some CBD gummies that melted together, but love these things. Double stuffed Oreos, dehydrated milk, mac and cheese, a couple of these $1 meals from Walmart. It's instant mashed potatoes, pepperoni slices, olives, some dehydrated coffee. Oh yeah. Two packs of these energy goos, pretzels, ramen noodles. Um, got two things of soft tortillas, tuna, and a bunch of packets of oatmeal. I think the only thing I've ate in the past, I guess, three days now is like maybe a pack of turkey sticks, two packs of oatmeal, a um, couple things of ramen, and just a random snack here and there in that bag of trail mix. So it's really not been a lot. Oh yeah, I did have a thing of olives too, but uh, I don't know. I can't seem to eat a lot when I'm backpacking nowadays. So honestly, with all this food here and the food I started with, it probably could have kept me out for like comfortably six days, which is crazy to think about. But as you can see, it's all not healthy, but that's the way it goes. I'm not going to be spending, you know, $12 on a dehydrated meal, especially when I'm trying to glorify shitting in a hole. So that's my thought on it. <coughs> so last night, Adrian noticed that someone had left these at the campground here. Um, so she was saying to me that they look like byproducts of volcanic activity, and she obviously explained it a lot better than me. Here's another really good example, right? You see the face of this? It's kind of just like normal looking rock. When you flip it over, boom here like this you can see those kind of bubbles in there which is really cool so whoever brought this here thank you we're gonna leave it for the next person to enjoy but uh just 
one of the many beautiful things in Yellowstone. This is the map we're using for our trip. It's a Beartooth Publishing Yellowstone North. Uh, the first part of the trail we're doing shows up, but then the very last part of uh, tomorrow will be on the Yellowstone South Trail. I didn't feel the need to bring that map, but I'll show you what we did the past couple days on the map. All right, given a recap of the past couple days, on Monday we started out here at the Soda Butte Trail. We worked our way all the way down here, boom, to Timothy Creek, right there. So that was a pretty long day, you know, it was like 12.3 miles. So yesterday um, we hiked, boom, from here all the way off. And I believe this little branch off is called Frost Creek, or, yeah, Frost Lake Trail. And this is where we're at now. This whole mile stretch was like pretty not that awesome. And we're like, oh man, this campsite's probably going to be terrible. And we got here and it's beautiful. So the agenda for today is we're going to backtrack a mile, go all the way here up to Miss Creek, to campsite 3T3. And then tomorrow we're going to have to hike 11 miles all through the Pelican Valley area. And that's a bear management area, so we can't start hiking until about 9 in the morning. But we'll get ready early and, uh, yeah, get everything going. All right, we're off to Miss Creek. It's right after 10.30, and we got about 7 and a half miles. Let's make our turn to go up to Miss Creek. Absolutely beautiful view here in the Lamar Valley. I'm pretty sure when Bob Ross' soul was laid to rest, this is where he came. Camp 3T3. It's off there somewhere. <laughs> Just made dinner here at uh, 3T3. Uh, coconut beans and rice. <laughs> Today was mostly uphill. It would go between these like severe uphills that last a short amount of time and then going back down the flat. It was kind of like that the whole day. And now um, we're right below Mist Creek Pass, which is right behind us. Uh, all these meadows are really lovely and super open and beautiful. And no wildlife today, right? We didn't see anything. Hard to stay hydrated and our wind's going crazy, so hopefully we'll die down. Uh, yeah, filming out here to show you around these meadows here. Uh, <laughs> All right, 
right, so up there, I'm not sure if it's off here or here, but I believe one of those is in this green path. Let me zoom out and I kind of show you this sweeping view. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. We got our camp right up here. All right, good morning. This is day four of our trip uh, through Yellowstone National Park in the Lamar Valley. Um, very windy last night, pretty much completely died out and uh, ended up being probably the calmest night we've had. No noise at all, like it is eerily quiet here and it's really cool though, real, real cool. Um, dropped down pretty cold last night exactly how cold I don't know none of the water anything's frozen but the inside of the tent is extremely condensation-y but uh we're getting up early here it's probably right after 6 30 um we're gonna hike the first 1.9 or 1.8 miles up to uh Miss Creek Pass and that's at the border of the bear management area so if we get up there uh preferably at nine or just after nine, we're allowed to go into the mayor management area. But if we get there before then, we'll have to wait a little bit because uh, I obviously want to respect park regulation and the uh, bears. So I'm going to make some coffee and breakfast, pack everything up, and uh, then we're off. So that'll be the start to day four here in the Lamar Valley. This is a view looking down the Miss Creek Meadows. All 
All right, we're gonna head up Miss Creek Pass now and uh, got a little bit of a later start, but we won't have to worry about waiting at the bear management area. <laughs> we're gonna hike fast. Yes. There's a view looking back to the Miss Creek Meadows. All right, so we just made it to the top of Miss Creek Pass. That's looking down on, or sorry, looking down on the Pelican Valley. That's Yellowstone Lake over there. And then let's see if I can get it way off in the distance. There we go. It's a slightly better view of it, but I believe that's Grand Teton. All right, here's some bear sign. There was more scat up on the trail a little bit ago, but it was not nearly this fresh. But uh, this still looks like it's been here a little bit. First look out as we get down from Miss Creek Pass into the Pelican Valley. There's a view looking down from where we just came on Miss Creek Pass. There's the uh, Pelican Valley uh, Ranger Cabin. It's cool. It's a big boy. This guy was just doing a little dust bath over there, so we're trying to see if we can coax him to do it again by waiting. <laughs> So here in this pond, you can see a couple of these little things bubbling up in a st strong smell of sulfur. Interestingly enough, there are some uh, ducks in here swimming, so I guess it must not bother them a terrible lot. Pretty amazing look back at the Pelican Valley. Like a dumbass, I walked us up the wrong trail about a mile, so we had to backtrack, so we're making that up now. Not fun. Onward. <laughs> 